and welcome to our Cucina Rustica. My name is Pino De Cervo. This Io is my mom. Filomena De Cervo. Eh, mamma, oggi che facciamo? Facciamo i serpentini con la crema di zucchini. Zucchini cream pasta. You're going to love it. Watch this. All right, for our ingredients to make this, you're going to need some sort of short pasta. My mom chose this one today. It's one of her favorites. So how do you say it? Serpentini. Which means like snake-like, but scooby-dees will do or any short pasta will do. So we need some pasta, we need some coarse sea salt, cream, parmigiano, thyme, parsley, garlic, onion, zucchini, and aurora, no salt, chuck and broth. Comes together easy, watch what we do here. Okay. All right, let's start, Mom. We have a big pan with uh, high sides, and we're gonna start cooking down everything. Oil. What do you need? What do you need? First the oil. First oil, extra virgin olive oil, always. Nice little coating on the bottom of the pan, is that good? Yes. Okay, pan not too hot, we want medium heat. We just onions. wanna really soften all the onions down, okay? So get our onions in there, give that a stir. Uh, I'm gonna add some coarse sea salt. This helps to soften the onions and starts building some flavor. And I'm gonna add some thyme. This is fresh thyme, these are just two springs. We don't have to chop it up, we'll just add it like so. That heat will infuse the flavor, some of the leaves will fall off, and then we just pull it off, it's nice and simple. All right, this is gonna simmer for about three to four minutes, medium heat. Our onions are nice and soft. Mom, you ready? Garlic. Garlic, garlic. We'll get that in there. Give that a stir. We're gonna add some pepper, because we didn't add pepper before, but first we do that, Mom, we're gonna add our zucchini. These are the perfect size for zucchini. It's summertime right now, uh, you don't want them any bigger than this, from small to medium size. That's where they have the most flavor. These are actually from our backyard. Uh, if you don't have a zucchini garden or a garden, um, get them fresh Ontario zucchini. They always taste best, okay? And we're gonna we just cube them up, and we're gonna add them to our pot. Okay, Mom, the black pepper, we're gonna add a little bit more salt just to start drawing out all those liquids from the zucchini. Now, we don't want any color here. We, want, we don't want to brown the zucchini. We just want to really soften them up because pretty soon we're gonna start mashing them up and add a cream and our stock to this. So, we got some pepper, some salt, give it a good stir, medium heat, and we're gonna cover it with the lid for about uh, five to 10 minutes. Okay, it's ready to go. Ready to go? Yeah. All right, so this has been about actually eight and a half minutes, so anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on how thick you cut your zucchini. Uh, they're nice and soft, as you can see. They really starting to soften up. Um, we're gonna add all the other ingredients. Don't forget to take out the thyme, which my mom just did. We're gonna add our chicken stock to this. Now we're gonna eyeball this, but uh, the full measurements will be on the website, pinotacherbo.com. Okay, so that's our, our chicken stock. And now we're gonna add cream. This is full cream, 35%, right mom? Yes. None of the other stuff will do. No, that's a good one. <laughs> so let's add our cream to this. We're gonna cover it back up and we're gonna let it cook for another five to 10 minutes. Now what we want is that zucchini to be really mushy because then we're gonna mash it all up. All right, so we'll call you when this is ready. This has been simmering for almost 10 minutes. It's actually pretty close to 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that smells so good. We're not even done yet and that's already smelling so delicious. Okay, so with the fork, this is the test. You just wanna put your fork in there. They're nice and mushy and soft. So now we get our potato masher and you just want to squeeze them. It doesn't have to be perfect, you're not making smooth mashed potatoes. You just want it nice and creamy. You want some chunks of that zucchini uh, skin inside there. Ma, you continue doing that. Just be careful when you're doing this on your stove that uh, you don't tip the pot. All right, so I have some pasta here. I've cooked according to the package directions and it's perfect, ready to go. This just came out of the hot pot now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this all together. But before we do that, mom, you're almost ready to go there? Yeah. It's all ready? Yes. When you're cooking your pasta and you're and you're uh, dumping the water, make sure you save just a little bit of that pasta water, just in case it, it starts to get a little bit dry. You can add that pasta water to give it a little bit more moisture. All right, Parmigiano cheese. Yeah, let's add it all because Parmigiano cheese is delicious. And we have lots of fresh parsley. Give it a good mix, mom. And now, Look at that. Now we're going to add our pasta to this. Here it goes all together. Okay, get that all in there. So we're tossing it around. And I'm going to add a little bit of pasta water to this as well. Okay? How does that look? Beautiful. Give it a few minutes under the heat, and the pasta is going to release a little bit more starch, and it's going to thicken it up a little bit. That is gorgeous. All right, just one minute like this. 
So here it is, our zucchini cream pasta. That is absolutely yeah. smells delicious. It looks delicious, delicious, and even sounds delicious. As my mom's tossing it, you hear that cream just coating each zucchini. We're not even finished yet. Okay, drizzle of a good olive oil on top. Okay, some extra Parmesan cheese all over because Parmesan cheese, you know what, we're just gonna put all of it, Mom. You know what, because that's what we like, is Parmesan cheese, okay? And we have some toasted walnuts. You're gonna add a little bit of crunch and texture to this dish, just right on top like that. And of course, we can't eat anything without it being a little bit spicy. There is some beautiful hot banana pepper. Come on, folks, look at that, look at that. Now, of course, the best part of all. Don't be shy, ma, don't be shy. Oh, let's go, I'm a hungry boy, I'm a growing boy. Look at that. Make sure we get everything on here. The hot pepper, the zucchini cream, the walnut. Dalla nostra cucina rustica, buon appetito. Let's kill her. Let's kill her.